Well, before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Maha Wakakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Y Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much in this lesson is going to be titled as the Rape Doctrine. And uh, pretty much I'm doing a lesson on this because you got Jake's out there. They still push false accusations against the men of the Lord, saying that they teach rape. And they fail to realize. Um, rape is in the Bible. Now we're not saying it's okay to go around and just rape any woman you see or just go around just raping people. No, but it's in the scriptures on how it is to be dealt with according to the Bible. And all that word rape really means, it means is to lie, hold, and to seize. And we're going to get that out in this lesson. So this is just to be a quick hit. This is Deuteronomy twenty two twenty five. 25. It says, but if a man be found, be it says, if a man find a damsel in the field right a damsel is a young woman that's what damsel means right and that word betrothed means engaged so she belongs to somebody right it's a woman that is that belongs to somebody she has a man and the man force her that word force that goes into rape that's what that word force means right strong's h 2388 Chazak, Chazak. To strengthen, prevail, harden, be strong, become strong, right? Be courageous, be firm, grow firm, be resulted, be sore, be strong, grow, prevail, prevail upon, be firm, be caught fast, be secure, to press, to urgent, to grow, stout, grow, riddick, rigged, grow hard. To be severe, be grievous, be strengthened, to make strong, to restore, to strength, give strength, to strengthen, to sustain, encourage, to make strong, make bold, encourage, to firm, to make good, make hard, to make strong, strengthen, to make firm, to display strength, to make severe, to support, to repair, to prevail, prevail upon, to have or take or keep hold of, to retain, hold up, sustain, support. To hold, contain, to strengthen oneself, to put forth, strengthen, use one, strengthen, to withstand, to hold strongly with. So it's many meanings here. Let's get the entomology real quick. So we're going to go back because that word force, it means rape, which we're going to get right here. And when you go into the entomology of rape, you see that entomology of rape, it says seize, pray, abduct take carry off by force and that's what work that's what rape the word rape means it means to seize to lie hold right it didn't really give us the meaning here but that word force it means rape and it says force her right and the man force her meaning rape and lie with her right force her meaning rape raper right then the man only that lie with her shall die right because he he, ra he he raped that woman. And that woman cried out. It says, verse 26, But unto the damsel thou shalt do nothing, right? There is in the damsel no sin worthy of death. It says, For as when a man raiseth against his neighbor and slayeth him even, so, it, so is this matter. Verse 27, For he found her in the field, and the betrothed damsel cried. She cried out. And that, and that, that man raped her. So according to the scriptures, he will be put to death. Rape is in the Bible. And again, that word rape, it just means to seize, lie, hold. All right. That's what it means. But in this uh, precept here, it's showing you on how to deal with that type of situation, how it would be dealt with according to the scriptures. All right. It says, for he found her in the field and the betrothed damsel cried and there was none to save her. No one was out there to save her. And she cried out. So that that man that that raped that woman, he would be put to death. Rape is in the scriptures. Now, again, we're not saying it's OK to go around and just rape. 
but it is uh, in the scriptures to how it is to be handled and dealt with. Verse 28, if a man find a damsel that is a virgin, right? Now, this is a way on how to deal with marriage according to the scriptures. This is how marriage is because sex is marriage according to the Bible. So this is how marriage was in the ancient world on how that was to be done. Verse 28, if a man find a damsel that is a virgin, right? A virgin, she ain't never been touched, right? Which is not betrothed, meaning she don't, she's not engaged. She don't belong to any man and lie with her. You lie with her, right? You lie hold on her. And that word lie hold, right? That's what that means to seize, lie hold. It says, and lie with her and they be found. See, they be found. Verse 29, then the man that lie with her shall give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver and she shall be his wife. See, because he slept with that woman. That's his wife now. Marriage, sex is marriage according to the scriptures. It says, because he have humbled her, he may not put her away all his days. Meaning he can't, like how today you got Jake's that sleeping with women and then, oh, they ain't want them. They just, you know, putting them away for no reason. You can't do that. In the ancient world, you were stuck with that woman. There was no putting a woman off. But long story short, we validated and showed you in the scriptures that rape is in the Bible. And that word rape, it means actually to seize, to lie hold. That's what that word rape means. Now, when we bring it out in the scriptures, we're showing you on how it is to be dealt with, how, how it is to be handled. So, again, we're not saying it's okay to go around and rape, but rape is in the Bible and it's in the scriptures. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, Bahashim Mahab, Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who will well teach well because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered abroad. Put your forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Y, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, shalom.